All right, I really like this color contrast checker. This is mainly to help make sure that your presentations are accessible for a colorblind audience, but it's just generally good design for everyone. So the website that I'm gonna use is Web Aim Color Contrast Checker, and you can use it in a variety of ways. But the main thing I use is that you have um, space for entering your foreground color, your background color, and then it gives you a contrast ratio and it tells you if it's good enough. So let's try it. Okay, so the default colors that it has are blue and white, blue foreground, white background. So colors that we know are generally not very accessible are combinations of red and green, and just red in general is problematic. So as you can see, the contrast issue 3.99, and if you scroll down, it gives you whether normal text or large text fails. So large text is kind of kind of passes on the double A, triple A is more uh, rigorous, they're just accessibility standards. And so generally avoid having red text on a white background. What about red text on a black background? So I'm changing this color. It kind of passes a little bit if it's large text, but not so much if it's small text. So I, I would just generally avoid red. Um, if you really need to use a color that's like red, I would use a, you know, make it darker. So this is kind of okay when it's like maroon on a white background, that kind of works. That mostly passes everything, all right? And then there are color combinations that may seem aesthetically pleasing to us. Like for example, um, like a light blue on a dark blue background or something. It's not really that aesthetically pleasing, but we can try it <laughs> and see what happens. Does it work? Okay, this kind of works. Not really, I mean, it fails on some level, but I think if you make one of them a little bit lighter, like make this a little bit lighter, then that would work. So you take a look at the colors of your slides um, and make sure that these the color contrast is okay. I see yellow on a blue background, but let's make it like a regular yellow, not a light yellow. So that works okay if it's a dark blue background. If it's not very dark, it starts to fail, see? So what it is really is that you just want a light color on a dark color or vice versa. And that's what always will make it easier. Make this lighter, make this darker, and the color contrast improves, just as it sounds like. 